Hello guys, welcome to another session. In the previous days I did my best to make a comparison video between the Arco shaving soap and Arco shaving cream. Unfortunately my video editing skills are pretty crappy so this time I'll just do it like this. In the last video with R89 Premiere you could see how the Arco works and for the shaving cream I also have nothing but good words still I did notice a little bit of differences so we will see them and comment while I start lettering Yaki, black marble and let's go Now, as mentioned, I had pretty busy week, wasn't filming anything. I was just grabbing my soaps and creams, whatever was the most convenient for myself. I had some personal ideas to change, a lot of appointments government administration and all the good joys which comes with it i guess it's more or less the same in all parts of the world but every couple of years you need to go through these horrors of waiting in the queues be treated with underpaid public officials who strangely enough still choose to work in public service so it's their own choice now the one thing i noticed in cream versus soap comparison was that the soap is actually much easier to activate and the cream is sort of like pretty thick and pasty on lettering so I do need to take a little bit of more time just to make it pliable or watery soft but on the other hand you save some time on uh, rubbing the soap on your whiskers so when it all comes together I think that I have saved a minute or two when I lather with the shaving cream at least when it comes to Arco so if you're in some kind of rush and you don't want to mess around with the soap then maybe the shaving cream is a better solution and we will stop at this point also I do have a less a ladder generated for the second pass, so if you are a three pass shaver, this information could be valuable to you. Again, R89 rose gold, and I must admit that during this week, while I'm using only this razor. My skin is definitely feeling a little bit better as it is not digging into skin so when my beard grows back it somehow grows evenly so there is no stray hairs no 
hair bumps and similar stuff. When I reach the point of shaving, entire face has just equal amount of beard growth. So, a very very nice option for daily shavers with R41 or Piccolo. I do notice that in some cases my beard would grow a little bit faster on some areas and slower on the others. So if we shave daily I would grab some hairs in certain areas while others won't be that comfortable. But with R89 it's definitely not the case. Have some leather drop. So more or less this is it for the first pass. And with R89 I usually do two passes. Because it leaves a little bit of leftovers, like some hair tops. But nothing disturbing. And I actually find it more beneficial for heavy beard to actually go with two mild passes compared to having one really aggressive one. So this is how it works for me. And I must say that on the second pass the shaving cream seems to be a little bit slicker compared to the soap. Although it's not that cushioning, but it just feels sleeker, so and depending on what you prefer. Choose your shaving gear, equipment, whatever. <laughs> I'll clean my neck first so I don't mess with my hoodie. And this is really one of the blind shavers. It's very difficult to cut yourself. It's nice and mild, so but again very efficient so I think I have a new persona blade in this one. 
and for the second pass I will just do a little bit across the grout just in case I've skipped something And I did notice that my skin is looking a little bit healthier. You know, it's definitely preserving the upper layers of the skin because the blade is pretty concealed. So if you suffer from skin redness I deny could really help you on this one. So, oh, my fingers are soapy, but pretty, pretty clean. As for the shave, this would be it. I am pausing the video and we will see the aftershave splash test. <laughs> 